Good morning, everybody. This is Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo this Thursday morning. I want us to thank God for another last Thursday of this month. You know, God has kept us. Um, God has kept me and you. If you are listening to me, it's because you are alive. And I believe quite right that we have a reason to be thankful to God because he has been at work. His hand has been protective of you. That's where you are alive. You want to thank God for the fact that you slept. You lay, you slept, you woke up. God sustained you. That mystery of sustenance is the God factor. Can you just join me to give thanks to God for this wonderful God of grace? Let's appreciate him. Father, I want to thank you being the God of all grace. You are the God of all mercy. We want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you for what you've done, what you are doing. Receive all our praise. Holy Spirit, we know that there is no one like you, no God like you. We thank you. That is rich in mercy and you are rich in grace. We give you glory. Thank you, Father. We appreciate you for what you have done for us to see a new day. Thank you for grace and peace. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Father, because as we have come to fellowship with you today, we will march out of this devotion with a stronger grace, with convoy of grace, with the missing grace being made manifest in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm talking about grace, and uh, today I'll talk about uh, praying to be strong in the grace of God. Uh, how to be strong in the grace of God. I mean, I want to let you know that Paul was admonishing Timothy. He said, For you, my son, be strong, strengthen inwardly, strengthen inwardly in the grace, spiritual blessing that is to be found only. In Christ Jesus, be strong in the grace of God. (laughs) To be strong in the grace of God is to be strengthened inwardly. And who is is a better person to give such advice as Paul? Himself was a man that is strong and cooked in the grace of God. He was a man that was strengthened inwardly. By the grace of God. He was a man that was strengthened both within and outside with the grace of God. Fortified with grace. You could see the default around that man. He was a murderer. He was, uh, blood was on his hand. By virtue of uh, being a saint, he shouldn't be a saint. But because of the grace of God, because of the blood of Jesus Christ, I had a very bad past, but because of the grace of God, in spite of his criminal record, the grace of God turned Paul into a formidable vessel in the hand of God. The same thing God's grace can do for you. That is what God's grace did for Paul. That was how, 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 how the, the, the grace of God, what it brought, what it made out of Paul. Paul became a man that was grace made. In this kingdom, there are no great men. There are only graced men. I want to let you know Paul, to let you know the impact of of, of grace in his life. Paul uh, acknowledged in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10, he said when Paul was expressing success of ministry, he attributed it to the grace of God. He claimed that his success was traceable to the presence of grace that was with him. It was like a presence of, that it was like a presence flooded him. He was, it was grace overshadowed. There was a grace that overshadowed Paul. There was a grace that accompanied Paul. And he saw that grace as the, as the force that was responsible for his success. In a similar way, the same grace God wants us to operate in to generate our success. I want us to pray wherever we are. If that grace was what made Paul, is that grace that will make me and you. Is that grace that will make me and you succeed the way that grace made Paul to succeed? It will make you succeed in business, succeed in ministry, succeed in your home. There are areas me and you may be struggling with. The grace of God can make us strong. Our faith, can, our faith in the grace of God can make us strong. 
I want to encourage you the grace of God, which is a force that can protect you, which is a force that can put a cloud of rain or blessing over you. And that is why I want us to pray today that we shall be strong in the grace of God. The grace of God shall be so strong and permeate every aspect of our life. That's why every letter of Paul always begin with grace and peace be multiplied unto you. That is his normal greeting because it's out of grace that peace comes. Grace and peace always with you. And he always finishes all his letters with the grace of God be with you. So the grace of God will make you victorious over satanic forces. I want us to pray right now that the grace of God becomes strong in my life. Oh, let me to pray wherever you are. He said, he said, he made it very clear in Romans 16, verse 20, from verse 19 to 20, Romans 16, 19 to 20, we're talking about the force of grace. That is a grace and peace be unto you. And we're talking about Romans 16, verse 20, talking about grace and peace be unto you, and Satan shall be short, shall be, shall be silent shortly under you. So it takes the grace of God to be, so, to be victorious against satanic forces. Let me pray right now. So say, Lord, Lord, I want to be strong in your grace. Help me, Lord. Impart me with grace. Let grace advance my destiny. Let grace begin to advance my destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the God of all peace that will cross it under my feet shortly, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of all peace will cross Satan under my feet shortly. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be there to get the work done. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me to be strong in your grace. To be strong in your grace. In my business, in my career. To be strong in grace. That the grace of God be strong on love of my children. Because when the grace of God is strong upon them, the favor of God will be strong upon them. God's invisible, impenetrable shield will be strong upon them. Oh, the favor of God. The grace of God is the favor of God. The grace of God carries an in, impenetrable shield from evil. Oh, we we'll pray over our children, over our going out, over our coming in. That that we shall walk in impenetrable impenetrable wall of the grace of God. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, evil will not be able to penetrate all our children. Oh, the grace of God, with the favor of God, will become an invisible shield that will keep disease and, and, and infection away. Monkey disease, whatever it is, protect our children, protect our family. We call it done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please join me. Uh, 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 if you are there, you are not born again. Tell this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. Uh, 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 forgive me my sins. Uh, 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 I come to you. And I ask today, anywhere I have sinned, Lord, uh, I want you to forgive me, Lord. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving my soul in Jesus' name. This prayer for those that are not giving their life to Christ, if you have not yet been saved. Join me today this evening as we carry on on pursuing the victorious grace of god just join me for that meeting um by 8 p.m 8 p.m uh uk time and 3 p.m washington dc time standards